But what I have to share right now is the breaking news. Uh, a major Japanese mobile carrier, NTT, has developed a base station for 5G technology that is buried in the ground to overcome a shortage of space. The waterproof antenna is placed into a 70 centimeter deep hole and then covered with reinforced plastic that still allows the radio waves to pass through. And they tell us that in accordance with guidelines set by the communications ministry, the intensity and direction of the radio waves will be adjusted to prevent them from affecting passer buyers. Now I'm going to stop right now and just add this. They're saying protect passer buyers. This will be adjusted when they're telling us we want 5G. We want to stream faster downloads. And yet they're telling us that this will be directed so it will protect passer buyers. Now I continue. They tell us the new 5G wireless systems require more base stations than before. But the amount of available space on towers and building roofs is becoming increasingly limited. NTT uh, Docomo plans to start putting the new base station into practical use in March of 2019. The company's manager in charge of wireless access networks says they come, came up with the idea of burying the base station while thinking of ways to overcome the space shortages. And he says that his company hopes that this technology will allow more people to enjoy stable wireless reception. And here's the picture. And recall, too, that these iPads have been given to children in the schools. And where is the Wi-Fi antenna in these iPads? Look at this picture, folks, with this little boy in an iPad resting on his genitals, essentially, as he's being sterilized. And we know that the exposure to these levels of micro microwave radiation in rats are extremely harmful after just 15 days. Now imagine what this is doing to your kid in a school, eight hours a day, 360 days a year. This is absolutely horrific, Deborah. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Deborah, thank you so much for your time. And guys, thank you so much for sharing this information within your sphere of influence. I'm not sure what we can do to stop it, but an educated public is a much stronger public than a dumbed down one. So thank you all for listening. And for real news 24 seven, visit us at sgtreport.com. God bless.